Daniel Sports Center, we go over a college football game preview and prediction on the week five matchup between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Huge matchup for both these teams coming up here in week five. You got Alabama is still undefeated. They're 4 no to start the season, and they're ranked number two in the country, but they have yet to get a signature win on the season. And this is an opportunity to do so, going up against an Arkansas team that is extremely talented, coming off of a brutal loss to Texas A&M this past weekend, but Arkansas is looking for redemption. So definitely a very intriguing matchup coming up here in week five. We'll be going over a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today. Starting out with your team trends, Alabama beat Vanderbilt 55-3 to in week four. So had no issues taking out Vanderbilt. Meanwhile, Arkansas just had a brutal loss to Texas A&M. 21 to 23 was the final score there. And the way that that game ended for Arkansas, I mean, they were down by two, uh, had an opportunity for a field goal, and it ended up bouncing off the top of the upright, which is almost unheard of. And so, yeah, just a brutal loss for Arkansas, to say the least. But this is a huge opportunity here for the Razorbacks. They're at home in this matchup. They've got a chance to go up against one of the top teams, if not the best team in the country here in Alabama. And I mean, this is this is a huge opportunity here for Arkansas. They're three and one. I mean, this is a good Arkansas team that just took, I mean, once again, a close, brutal loss to Texas A&M. They're still a really good football team, that's for sure. Games beyond Saturday, October 1st in Fayetteville. So once again, Arkansas is the home team for this matchup. Kickoff is 2.30 p.m. Central. Spreads go on Alabama by 16 and a half. So Crimson Tide, this is the opening spread. So this very well could change over the course of the week. But as of right now, Alabama is favored by uh, slightly more than two touchdowns, over under 60 and a half. And the FPI is going Alabama 93%. So Alabama is uh, very strongly favored according to the FPI. Serious history, Alabama leads at 22 to eight. They've won the past 15 matchups against Arkansas. Arkansas has not beaten Alabama since 2006, which was 16 years ago. So it's been a very long time since Arkansas has uh, beaten Alabama and that's Definitely a factor you want to consider here is that, I mean, Alabama's got Arkansas's number. They have beaten them 15 straight times. Nick Saban knows how to beat Arkansas. And I let me tell you, Arkansas is a really good football team this year. They are, um, they are talented for sure. And this is an opportunity for them to break that streak. I mean, this could very well be the year for Arkansas, but that's something to mention here is that, I mean, those, those streaks, once, I mean, it's 15 games, it's tough to snap that. So Arkansas has got to play a really good football game, start to finish if they want a chance to break that streak. Stat comparison, Alabama 48 points per game so far this season, seven points allowed. Their defense, Alabama's defense, has been outstanding so far this season to say the least. The offense has been really good as well, except for you could say that Texas game where they only scored 20. But then again, Texas really played a solid game there as well. But then again, it's, it's still 20 points by the offense. But defensively, this entire season, uh, they've been really solid. Uh, passers a game 282, rush yards a game 235, and then for yards allowed 138 passing, 62 for rushing. So defensively, once again, just outstanding. And on offense, they've been pretty balanced between passing and rushing. Bryce Young, of course, an outstanding quarterback, one of, if not the best in the country at that position. Um, and the rushing game has been hasn't been bad at all for uh, for Alabama this season. As for Arkansas, 33 points per game, 26 points allowed, 235 passers a game, 243 rush yards. And then for yards allowed, 302 passing, and then 99 for rushing. 302 average pass yards allowed this season for Arkansas. That is a number to keep in mind there. That is, uh, that's not a very good stat there, especially when you're about to go up against an Alabama offense with Bryce Young and outstanding receivers. I mean, this defense is going to need to be better if you're Arkansas here, if you want a chance to, to knock off Alabama. Um, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, Arkansas defensively hasn't been terribly good. Their offense is extremely talented. KJ Jefferson really like him as a quarterback. Don't forget Raheem Sanders, who's already rushed for over 500 yards this season. I mean, this is a talented Arkansas um, offense, that's for sure. But uh, once again, on the defensive side of the ball, they've been a bit inconsistent at times. Recent matchups: Alabama beat Vanderbilt 55 to three. Beat. Uh, Louisiana Monroe 63 to 7 beat Texas on the road 20 to 19 still I mean you think back to that week two matchup who would have thought that game would have been as close as it was I mean Alabama was very close to losing to Texas in that matchup so they are very fortunate to have gotten the win there in the end 
And, of course, shut out Utah State in week one, 55 nothing. As for Arkansas, they've played, you could say, maybe tougher opponents. They've played Texas A&M and uh, Cincinnati and, of course, had their conference game against South Carolina. Uh, lost to Texas A&M by two, beat Missouri State 38-27. to What was a scary game there. Arkansas in week three, that game was way closer than it should have been against Missouri State. I mean, they ended up winning it by 11, but Missouri State led that game for a long time. Uh, South Carolina beat them 44-30, to and they beat Cincinnati, who was the 23rd-ranked team in the country at the time, 31-24. to So, I mean, overall, that Cincinnati win was a good one for sure. South Carolina beat them by 14, even though it's not ideal to be allowing 30 points to them. And, of course, Missouri State, another thing with the defense, allowing 27 points in that one as well. Some key points for this one, Alabama 3-0. Bryce Young remains as one of the best quarterbacks in the country, no doubt in saying that. He's put up over 1,000 yards this season, 13 touchdowns, two picks. Overall, really good stats out of Bryce Young so far. Uh, defensively, they've been extremely strong. This is a defense that um, I'd say is pretty similar to, I mean, looking at Georgia from last year, Georgia's defense, how great they were on defense. I mean, Alabama's defense has been excellent so far this season too. I mean, once again, we haven't really seen Alabama play many good opponents yet. So this is a first opportunity to really see what this Alabama defense can do. Um, and this is, I mean, going up against a good Arkansas offense. Uh, so that's definitely an intriguing part of this game, something to keep an eye on. Uh, but so far this season, Alabama's defense has been outstanding to say the least. And you pair that with an offense with Bryce Young and uh, this, I mean, all the skill players, it's uh, definitely, definitely a dangerous combo there for the Crimson Tide. And other than week two, they've been extremely dominant this season. I mean, week two, obviously the one point win, but otherwise they've been uh, extremely dominant this season. Arkansas took a brutal loss to Texas A&M last week. Once again, <laughs> that final field goal, I mean, they almost had that game uh, as close as it was. I mean, they started, the, they started out uh, firing on all cylinders, really a great start, but then Texas A&M snuck back in. And of course that, that fumble the goal line, which was brutal for Arkansas. So a couple of Key mistakes, you fix those up. I mean, Arkansas probably wins that game, but um, in the end, it didn't happen. Um, and offensively, once again, this is that's really where Arkansas shines. Defensively, they definitely have to improve if they wanna be a contender. Um, but they also have the home field advantage here too. You gotta consider that. I mean, Arkansas with the home field advantage is, is massive. I mean, they've pulled some big upsets at home in recent years. Um, so keep an eye on that, the Razorbacks, uh, it's a tough place to play. So that's, once again, something to really keep an eye on here. And they got a great opportunity to knock off Alabama, who is one of the best teams in the country. I mean, what a what a shot at redemption that is for Arkansas, coming off of a brutal loss, and you get Alabama the very next week at home. But that's still, let's get to the prediction here for Alabama and Arkansas coming up here in week five. In the end, I'm going with Alabama. 34 to 20 is my predictive final score. I just feel like Crimson Tide here, they are the better team. They're a more complete team. And I mean, it's, it's hard to go against Bryce Young in this offense, especially when going up against an Arkansas defense that has been um, inconsistent at times so far this season. And so, yeah, quite honestly, it's it's pretty comfortable picking Alabama in this one, considering that I'm gonna say 65% towards Alabama. I think Arkansas's offense, that's, that's really uh, what makes the difference here too. I mean, KJ Jefferson, really like him as a quarterback. They got an excellent uh, rushing core, Raheem Sanders. Got plenty of talent there, um, but in the end, Alabama's defense is also uh, it's also outstanding to say the least. So I do think Arkansas scores 20, and I think that they cover the spread, which is currently 16 and a half points uh, towards Alabama. But once again, in the end, I just feel like the Crimson Tide are the better team, more comfortable picking with Alabama in this one. But once again, I mean, Arkansas is at home. They got a chance of redemption coming off of last week. There is a there is a chance that Arkansas is is able to pull the upset in this one, and definitely it would be. An incredible upset if that were to happen. But in the end, I'm going to go with Alabama, 34 to 20. Uh, you're over under 60 and a half. I'll take the under for this one. And once again, Arkansas to cover in the end. But that said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this matchup. And I appreciate you guys watching as always. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. Catch you on the next one.